What's up guys, Seth Fighter, and I'm going to show you how to rig up a Carolina rig. First things first on a Carolina rig, I'm actually going to cut off my chunk of leader. I'll usually take about six feet of line just so I got room to work with. Cut that off. This is going to be the leader for our Carolina rig. Next step is attaching your swivel. I like to use a nice ball bearing swivel. Tie my leader to the swivel. We're just going to put a simple polymer knot in here. Cinch her down. Trim off the tag end. The next step I'm going to do is go back to the main line coming off my rod. And I'm going to slide on a sinker. Usually when Carolina rig fishing, you're fishing deeper, so I use, tend to use a heavier weight, half ounce and up. Slide the sinker on my main line going to my rod. Then I'll usually add some form of bead, whether this one happens to be tungsten, you can use plastic ones, rubber ones. This is going to add a little bit of noise and also protect your knot because you've got a big heavy weight slamming against it on every single cast. So we'll slide that on next. Then the next step is to attach, tie back to the swivel that has our leader attached to it. And that's the reason when I'm using a polymer knot, you have to tie your leader to the swivel before you tie the main line so you can wrap uh, your polymer loop around it. Entire polymer, and we'll pull our swivel and our entire leader through. Cinch that down. Trim off our tag end. Now the next step is selecting leader length. You can go from anywhere short is 10, 12 inches all the way out to six feet. Problem is the longer you make your leader, the harder it is to cast. So a good rule of thumb is going to be a two to three foot leader. We'll stretch her out about where we want it. And then we're going to attach our hook. I prefer a round bend worm hook. You can use whatever style hook you're into. Trim off the tag in. Now we have our Carolina rig. It's quite a bit different than a Texas rig because of the length of that leader. And uh, like I said, this is typically a, a deep water, offshore style rig. You can throw it anywhere, but it gives you a lot different presentation versus a, a regular Texas wig, rig because your sinker is so far ahead of your bait. So you get really good bottom contact using that heavy sinker and you can feel what's down there. It's really good search bait, you know, feeling the bottom contact, uh, you know, feeling for rocks, sand, weeds, whatever you have. But now your bait's going to be dragging behind your weight. And what it really does is it gives your bait a lot more action. It's free from the weight. It's just kind of floating along back there, real natural, real smooth, sliding around. And uh, just an awesome way to catch a ton of fish when you're fishing offshore or deeper water.